Hi, Chris Walls from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Titleist headquarters. We're with Dan Stone. We're talking about the exciting new TS drivers, the TS2, TS3. Dan, a lot of technology going on here. I know you're excited about the results, but let's go through some of the technical features, some of the things you guys have done to really, you know, the buzzword here is fast and yes. speed. Yeah, so really, you know, um, we've done a lot of cool things for it, but essentially the core, the core uh, uh, changes have to do with the crown and the face. We made a thinner crown. We, we've used some manufacturing technologies to make what, we, what exists now is our thinnest crown in golf in titanium. So it's, it was a 20% reduction in thickness. It's 0.4 millimeters. That's exceptional. Um, and so that allows us to do what we needed to do to, to get additional weight to put elsewhere in the club to make it useful. So additionally, we were able to take five grams out of the face. So 10 grams of weight, discretionary weight, you know, putting low and deep in the head in terms of driving up stability uh, and driving up off-center ball speed was really key for us. Over and above that, uh, if you'll notice, we have a really nice shape. So we spent some time in, in trying to reduce the drag. Um, that further increases ball speed in terms of putting the best aerodynamic shape that we could on both drivers. Um, and that also helps us in the, in the ball speed category. And I think part of, the, of what you've done with the face is it's sort of a variable thickness at this point, And I think that's yes. helping really sort of maximize ball speed even on the off-center strikes, correct? Yes. You know, it's, it's, it's a two-part equation, is how, do we, how can we deliver the club faster, um, you know, through the shaft um, and so forth, and then how do, you, how do you generate more ball speed off-center? Um, because COR, as you know, is regulated by the USGA, so um, we have good, good speed in terms of uh, our, our, our COR off-face center, but generating additional speed, how can, you know, for example, the aerodynamics and and reducing that drag by 20%. That helps your, your center shots. Um, so it's a combination of off-center and on-center ball speed improvements that I think that's what that's what the big change for over 917. And so the, the aspects we just discussed are technology shared between TS2 and TS3. There's also some differences between the two models, starting with a little bit of a slightly different shape. Yes, uh, the TS2, which I have in my hand here, is is uh, slightly pulled back. We do that to maximize the MOI. We are not at the legal limit, and nor do we want to be, because what we discovered is when we went that high in inertia, club head speed actually slows down. So inertia has a negative impact, can have a negative impact on, on club head speed. So we ended up in that sweet spot of about 52, 5300 uh, for inertia, and, and while maintaining the club head speed. So this is what we call our bomber product. I mean, we internally refer to it as our bomber product. <laughs> it's, it's got a sure fit weight in the back. We adjust swing weight, but it does not have our CG weighting uh, design that we can change CG position because it's so darn forgiving everywhere. I mean, it's a, it's a very forgiving club. People just tee it up and, and hit it, so. Yeah. And then the uh, TS3, which I'm holding, uh, the shape here, how would you sort of describe that to somebody that, who hasn't had a chance to see it? It's more of a traditional pear shape. It's very much similar to the, to the D2 that we had in terms of its shape profile, very similar. It also has many of the really good features that we talked about, the thin crown, the reduced weight in the face, but over and above that, we ha have our sure fit weighting, mm -hmm. which we can you know, uh, position the CG from heel to toe. That will help also with ball speed for people hitting toe shots or heel shots. It will improve ball speed, as well as change the trajectory. If they're looking for a right to left or left to right trajectory, it's really player dependent. That's that's what the fitters are there for to to properly fit you and to get the orientation uh, correct. Yeah, and also helping with the fitting process and what's been hugely successful, you guys, is the sure fit hosel. Yes. And players are gonna who have come to know like what their setting is yeah. and what the settings are aren't gonna have to learn a, a new system. You know. I think you, those are, you don't mess with Mother Nature. Um, <laughs> when we first came out with this system uh, on 910, um, it was really what we referred to it then as a tour van and a hosel. So what that means is the traditional way of bending a golf club, which was, has always been done on tour but wasn't really available to the general public at that time, um, was the ability to bend loft, lie, 
you know, and just bend the hosel by hand. We do that with this system, and we have 16 discrete positions. Um, we do have a little card that goes with it. There's a, there's a degree of complexity to it, uh, but we think that that's really necessary to have that, especially if you're going to have loft and lie independence. Uh, the system was worked well for us in the past, and we, see, we saw no need to change it. And I know you're excited. We talked in an earlier video about the, the ball speed gains you're seeing. Compared to 917, for instance, mm. kind of what have you seen in terms of your own test? We've seen a l on tour, for example, just starting with tour, we've seen one to two miles an hour and greater. I always like when I hear about three and four miles an hour ball speed, I'm always a little bit suspicious of that. When you get a one or two mile an hour signal, it's huge okay, yeah. in our business. Um, so we have seen greater with our sales force that I just uh, that we talked about earlier, we've seen uh, greater ball speed differences. Um, but in, in some cases, people haven't been fit well in the past, you know? Sure. And so just fitting alone increases your ball speed. But if you're talking about if a guy's been well fit in 917 and well fit in this product, you're going to see a couple miles an hour, one mile an hour at least of ball speed. And that's really big in terms of, and, and as important is the more consistency. We made it more forgiving. So, if, if you're not a perfect ball striker, you're, you're going you're gonna to be happy with this product. Yeah, outstanding. And of course, at Second Swing, if you're a Titleist fan, you've been playing a 9 Series product, you want to step up, get into a TS2, TS3, pick up some ball speed, hit some more fairways, we'll take your old driver on trade, get you in a new TS2 or 3, help you play some better golf. Absolutely. Dan, we appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you.